Hi, this is Johnny Shannon from Geospatial Insight, and I'm here again with some exciting news. Uh, recently, Hexagon have released the Power Portfolio 2023, which means we've got a brand new version of Erdas Imagine to play with. Um, let's dive in and have a quick round of spot the difference. Here's Erdas Imagine 2022, and here's 2023. 2022, 2023, you can see there's been a little bit of rearrangement. We've got some bright, uh, colorful new icons, but the major thing is that uh, we've got a new home tab, or rather a suite of new home tabs, because these have been rearranged um, for the individual uh, viewers. So we've got a 2D view home tab, and we have a model view to home tab, and we have home tabs for all the other different types of viewers that uh, we have within Erdas Imagine. That makes it a lot easier to get to the uh, functions that you require on the ribbon when you're using that uh, particular viewer and hopefully is going to be uh, more productive. Um, the major addition to Erdas Imagine 2023 is something I've talked about previously and it's the addition of the new module an add-on to Erdas Imagine Professional um, which uh, links in spatial model operators to Google Earth Engine and here they all are in all their uh, glory. Um, there's lots to unpick there and I'll be coming back to that at a later date. But what I'd like to look at uh, in this over the next couple of minutes is something a little bit more prosaic, and that's uh, the preview operator, or operators as they are now. Let's do that. So let's uh, bring in some data and let's uh, have a look at the preview. And here we have some data over um, Australia, Carpentaria, it's Landsat 8 data. Um, if I zoom in a little bit uh, over the land area here, we can see some bushfires, that's fine. Um, go to the multispectral tab and change this to my favorite band combination. And, oh, that's five, six, four, that's better. And then if we update that, oh, let's change the uh, stretch as well to my favorite ones, update that for just the statistics within the viewer. There we go, oh, that's looking quite harsh and zoom out. Then what we can do is that we can save that styling. Um, at the moment, if we have a look down under the auto save styling, that's off. Um, that's my preference. I don't want it to automatically save. Um, but if it was on, then that would save that uh, band combination and enhancement um, the next time you opened the data set. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a .icp file is one I've uh, done earlier. Let's just overwrite that. And that means that now if I come in again and I change the band combination and I change the stretch on the data as well, I can always go back to that uh, uh, um, styling that I saved by just clicking on open and going to the ICP file, loading it up. And there we go, we're back to uh, my preferred uh, band combination and enhancement. That's neat um, because we can either save that along with the image so that you can uh, transport the ICP file with the image and other users can use your enhancement, or you can save it locally in your home directory. And that means that you can uh, use that enhancement automatically um, when you bring in uh, data. Um, Let's uh, disconnect that and let's have a look at uh, NDVI to show another couple of things which are interesting. So we bring that in there. Our sensor name is Landsat 8. And the index is going to be trusty NDVI. Okay. And let's preview that. Okay, that's great. Just uh, go to the panchromatic and enhance that a bit. There we go. So we can see the NDVI and it's picking out the mangroves quite nicely in this area. Um, first thing I want to note is when we're looking in the contents pane, when we have a preview open, um, we've just got 2D preview input one. That's fine for this because we've only got one preview. But if you've got multiple um, ports on the preview or if you've got um, uh, lots of preview operators uh, within your spatial model, then that can get uh, a little bit of a pain. So what we can do now is we can set a data name. 
um, across uh, uh, the flow. I'm going to do that, so I'll rename that NDBI and click OK. And now when I click preview, I get the same data coming up uh, in the viewer, but uh, now uh, it's got a sensible name associated with it, which is great. The other thing that we can do um, when we have a preview open is we can save the output um, to the preview as on-demand data. And this is um, useful if we want to reuse that data subsequently um, and we don't want to produce a new output file. And so just to show how that works, if I click on the 2D preview operator and then click on share, I can save that as on-demand data. And again, I'll save that to uh, one I prepared earlier, ndvi.odx, and click OK. And now I can remove that. I can open up a raster layer, and I can open up this ODX file. It's just the text file which references the input data and the processing that's been applied to it. And so essentially, when you select that file and open it up in a viewer, it applies the um, uh, spatial model to the input uh, viewer and or to the input data and there we get the uh, corresponding output and so that's a, a kind of virtual data set um, on-demand data which is new in 2023 and uh, can be very very useful now I said that um, we were looking at uh, previews um, for uh, data and if we have a look in the view down here, in addition to the 2D preview, the ordinary preview window and the report that we have, we've now got a web preview, a chart preview, and a 3D preview operator. Um, let's have a look at a 3D preview operator. So if we bring in some point cloud data into the spatial model and hook up to a 3D preview, and then click on preview, this brings up the globe view, which is new to 2023, um, all based on Luciad. And now we can zoom in a little bit and we can look data in 3D. And so this is great for uh, doing the same kind of preview operators that uh, everyone's familiar doing with the 2D data. But now we can do it in 3D data and we can examine our point cloud as we go through. It is all interactive. And so if we wanted to do some work on the data, um, if we have a look at uh, doing some subsetting on the data, then we can hook that up to the subset, we can hook that up to the selection, and say we just wanted to look at vegetation, we can just select the vegetation classes, we can add a port as we could do in the 2D preview, and hook that up there. And now if I remove the full data set, here we have just the vegetation uh, classes. And again, on the globe view uh, ribbon here, we can color by classification. And so this is all the um, uh, vegetation, just subset out of the uh, original data set, which is still here in the uh, second preview. Um, lots more to show about uh, version 2023, but I hope that's been useful um, for a quick demo of uh, some of the uh, preview capability. Um, that's all from me for now. And so from me, cheerio.